Hello and welcome back to Hand Collectibles for another review. This time of the Hobbymaster Eurofighter uh, Aggressor Squadron. It's the very first Aggressor Squadron and it's the HA6613. So quite a new release. I uh, thought I'd do a review on it because uh, I know a couple of you aviation guys have been waiting for this one for a long time. And this is the RAF 9 Squadron Typhoon ZJ914. And it's called Batman, which kind of really suits the black paint job for the aggressor scheme. As you can see, this is the standard Hobby Master box, which you kind of get with all Typhoons, Eurofighter Typhoons, with the same illustrated art that's on all of them now, I think. I don't think I've seen any that are any different to this, but obviously it has its sticker with the exact details of this aircraft on the sides and on the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, this is part of the Air Power series, the 172nd scale. Let's see what else we've got. And now it's time to open up the box and see just what we get. And as you can see, here is everything that you get inside the box. So here is the polystyrene casing that houses the Hobbymaster Eurofighter. And as you can see on the top of the box, we have the instructions for the armament that can be fitted to it. And you get a stand, which is in on the top. And if we just open it up and have a look at the actual model, take these off. As you can see, it looks like another outstanding piece by Hobbymaster. So without further ado, let's take everything out of the box and lay it all out in the light box. And here is everything laid out in the light box, from the accessories to the die-cast Eurofighter itself. So if we just start off having a closer look at the accessories, so we'll start off with the arraignment of missiles we've got three sets of missiles there we've got a rear undercarriage there we've got a front undercarriage and a pilot and then we've got a central drop tank plus two under wing drop tanks we've also got gear down var variant so you can have gear down on rear and front and then it also comes with a open cockpit which is quite a nice touch so you can have cockpit open or cockpit closed and if we uh, just take a closer look at the details on the Eurofighter itself it really is a lovely model Hobby Master have done an absolutely fantastic job at the Eurofighter casting that they use slightly superior to the Corgi one, I think. But yeah, I mean, this one is definitely something very different because of obviously the aggressor scheme and the green bat logo on the rear. Okay, so let's uh, put it all together, put it on the turntable and uh, have a look. Here it is in the light box on the turntable with gear down. And as you can see, Hobby Master have not disappointed with this release. From the one-off black paint scheme for the Aggressor Squadron and the green bat logo that is on the rear towel, which is what has given this plane the name Batman and just all of the die cast details that are on here and the decals it's a really really great release hobby master should be super proud of this and not one for you collectors to leave hanging around i think this is quite limited so if you're going to pick it up pick it up now because i don't think it'll be around in a little while i really do think this one's going to sell fast because of it's so different 
And here it is back on the turntable, fully loaded. And this is definitely the way to display it with all of weapons and drop tanks on. A couple of things I have noticed this with this release is the air brake just behind the pilot's canopy still doesn't open. You know, that's something that Corgi do with Air One, but Hobby Master don't. I kind of think, you know, come on, Hobby Master. If, if Corgi's doing it, then I kind of think you guys should be doing it as well. The front directional flaps do move though, they do go up and down, and they are connected so they do move together, which is you know, a nice touch. And as you can see, this is just a generally good release. I kind of feel the casting is probably just slightly better than Corgi's. So without further ado, let's get it on the stand and see what that looks like. And here it is on the flight stand, fully loaded. And this is a great display aircraft now. It really will fit in the collection nice with the other Euro fighters I've got. The only kind of gripe that I really have got is Hobby Master stand. You know, you can't put the middle drop tank on with this stand because it fits in the same location. But I've got a couple of other stands that loop into the rear engine and they really do make the difference with it in the display. But you can really put all the armament on it there. And here we are, the Eurofire on the turntable. This time with the, I think they're called the front canards angled down, which really does give this Eurofire a really aggressive look with its aggressor scheme, all black. This is really one of my favorite Eurofighters I have in the collection and probably my favorite Hobby Master release to date. So yeah, thumbs up, well done. And that brings us to the end of this video. So as always, collectors, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.